Hey guys, what's going on? I haven't made one of these videos in a while. This is a day in my life, uh, probably part three, right? Yeah, I think it's part three. The first time I did this was, I think, like two years ago. My old subscribers know what I'm talking about. And I forgot that I haven't updated you guys on it in a long time. I mean, uh, everything about me evolves. Things keep changing. Things keep, things keep getting better. Uh, uh, I get rid of useless details. Uh, I zoom in on what's important. Make a long story short, um, I had a lot of different daily routines in the past two years, and I figured out, you know, I might as well keep you guys updated, because I got a lot of messages about that, and like I said, I completely forgot, but anyway, this is what I do, guys, nothing really changed, I still do my seven-day cycles, right, I still live life as if I, have, I only have seven days to live, um, I believe that sun, in my head, Sunday is day one, and then I die by Saturday, right, so seven days to live, and every goal that I set, every everything that I do is has to do with those seven days, right? I'm trying to maximize the profit on those seven days. I'm trying to maximize the return, you know, in economic terms of those seven days. What can each day give me? What can seven days give me? And because I, I, in my head, I make myself believe that I only have seven days to live, I take those seven days very seriously, right? That's why I, I budget my time to a, to, to a crazy, you know, um, uh, extent. But anyway, um, let me show you guys this one real quick. Here, pretty much, I have. Uh, let's see. This was uh, from February, February fourth, right? I just, I just pulled it out because I'm working on the one for today. So I figured, you know, what, let me just show you guys another one. Um, over here, I have my to-do list, right? See, simple piece of paper. In fact, the way I designed this, let me show you guys. I first designed this on a piece of paper, right? At first, like I told you guys, everything in Megan's world begins with a piece of paper. I first designed a template on a piece of paper, right? And then I brought it to pass on Microsoft Word. Simple, one page for each day, right? Or we have my mails, right? So I put 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 3 p.m., every three hours pretty much, depending on the day, right? I do these the night before the next day. So that day, I uh, I started I started work at 9 a.m., so that's when I, you know, set, set up my mails. So in in this category here, I plug in my mails for the day, right? And I make sure I plug these in, the, you know, the night before. Uh, then over here I have the books that I have to read during that day. You guys know I try to read four books every month. And how do I do that? I just try to read 10 minutes of each book a day, right? Nothing big. If you, if you guys know my, watch my videos, you know I'm very big on divide and conquer. Don't try to do everything all at once, right? Don't try to read an hour a day or fucking three hours a day, right? Divide and conquer. Break each task uh, and make it as easy to do as possible. So here I put four different books that I have to read out of my collection here. Sometimes I even reread old books, you know, because the more experience you get, you go back to an old book and, you know, it's like a brand new perspective on it, right? So don't think just because you read a book once, that's it. So, you know, I have 10 minutes in each book, right? Four books each month. Uh, down here, I put academics. That's just my classes I'm taking this semester. I'm taking five classes this semester. So I just keep that in, you know, keep that in mind. And then under each class, I put the most important to-do list for that day. So for Spanish, if I had to do chapter 12 fucking homework, if that's the most important one for the day... I write it down under here for business, whatever is the most important for the day. You know, like I work by, based on priorities, right? Don't try to do it all at once. Priorities. And then on the left side, I have my, uh, it's actually the, the, the fun part. A box for documentary, leader of the day, nation of the day, keyword of the day, battle of the day, campaign map, right? And people are thinking like, what the fuck is this, right? It's simple. This is this is based on my my preferences. Like I know, I watch, try to watch the documentary every day, on the person, uh, anything. It's just a documentary a day on YouTube. A leader a day. I study a, a leader every day. You know, some uh, every successful man in history. I try to you know study from Napoleon to freaking Julius Caesar, Hannibal. I mean, you name them, right? One a day. I just watch videos on the motherfuckers, so I read books on them. So today, I mean, that day was Bismarck, right? Out of one Bismarck, shout out to Germany. Uh, so I was going to watch a documentary on Bismarck, uh, the nation, Germany, you know, why not? I try to study a nation every day. I still do that, guys. You know, Wikipedia keeps getting updated. People say, well, you, you know, uh, there's, there's less than 365 nations, so you're going to run out of it. So I go back full circle, you know. You can never know too much. Uh, keyword quotes, like if I'm studying a person, most of the time, I look up their, their quotes, right? What are they known for? What are their most important sayings? What did they believe in? What was their philosophies, right? Uh, battle of the day, I usually study a famous battle, decisive battle in history. I'm, I'm a military history nerd, so 
I studied, you know, strategic battles, tried to learn a few things I could apply to, to, to you know, today's life, and, you know, things like that. Uh, campaign map. I put campaign map, but it's really map, right? I study maps. I, I pick a map and I study each day. In this case, I was studying a campaign map, probably like, you know, um, base marks, um, battles, whatever. Based on the leader, usually um, the boxes are easy to fill, but it doesn't have to be based on the leader. It's just, you know, I just plug in whatever I can. And by the end of the day, Look how productive my day was. Just look at this, right? I did all this in one day, and I, I'm gonna do the same thing the next day and the day after. So this is how you make the most out of your time. Over here, I have my to-do list. I plug in, um, you know, to-do, and then type, you know, up to ten things. It doesn't matter, right? Any random thing, grocery shopping, make a video, blah blah. blah. And over here's report. So I just put like the major things that happened on that day. It's kind of like a journal. This way I could look back in time and say, oh, what happened on February? Blank, you know, blah 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 and have the report down here and that's it in the back you could just use it for scrap paper do whatever you want to do visualize draw your future whatever it is but um you only need one of these a day guys to make you know to have a very productive day just one of these so try it out you know it's a uh, team 3d alpha type of shit nothing changed seven seven days to live right dream big guys make it happen i'm out of here Oh guys, I also forgot the most important thing about having this thing right here is the deadline. The deadline, the deadline, the deadline. Like I always say, a goal without a deadline is just wishful thinking. I learned that from mistake and from experience, guys. When you set those goals, those nice little golden cards that represent an hour of your day or whatever, you want to make sure, you see here, you want to put the deadline. You want to make sure you give yourself either a time frame to want to complete it or a time of the day by when this task must be done. So when I'm done filling in the boxes, next to each box i put a deadline i either put how long it's gonna take me to do it like 10 minutes 10 minutes whatever but i'll put a deadline like my first minute has to be done by nine second minute has to be done by noon you know like you put a deadline at the end of every single box otherwise you just be like oh i'll do it later i'll do it later i'll do it later next thing you know it's night and you gotta go to bed so trust me that's gonna happen you gotta have deadlines probably the most important thing on making this thing come to life otherwise it's a piece of paper right put a deadline 5 p.m 6 p.m 7 p.m based on your day right and obviously you want to know you also want to have a schedule that shows you uh um you know what you have in plan for the week or the day or blah 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 and I, i'll show you guys on it i'll show you guys on a different video it's uh this thing that i print out sunday through uh monday that shows me every day every hour so i know hey i have class at this time i have this this time so i'm able to situate my to-do list around my busy um schedule right time to discipline direction um, oh, I gotta, I gotta show this down. My, no, now I could just eat like crazy. And this is what I found works best. Number one, and this is not nothing new. Sometimes you don't gotta reinvent the wheel. Just put rims on it, right? Eat frequently. That was one of the. I've, I ranked that as number one because it's the one that gave me the biggest 